What's up guys, Joe? How you doing? I was already recording this video and I realized the mic wasn't on, so I had to start all over. And the good thing is I wasn't too into it, but yeah, so that's annoying when it happens. Alright, I wanna show off my new haircut. Looking fly? For a brown guy? <laughs> I'm past 40 years old and I made a promise to myself not to let myself go as I age, right? So I keep in that promise to myself, you know, which is I'm going to the gym eating healthier, you know, I'm cutting out the booze, and this is my second haircut that I fucking actually paid for in I don't know how many fucking decades, to be honest, you know? I always just buzz my hair, or wore a hat for the most part, I didn't care, right? But I'm actually making the effort to go to a barber and fucking, you know, get a haircut. So far, so good. I'm liking it. I want to age with grace, man, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> Enough of that shit, now that my mic is working. This is a response video to a comment that I got from a previous video when I was, like, explaining to you how to use Time Boat and DaVinci, right? Yeah, so on my previous videos when I was showing you how to like import XML files inside of DaVinci, uh, this person, uh, Nuria Blanco, left a comment, you know, saying, you know, thanks for the help and all that, but she also has a problem um, or a situation that she's dealing with when she's working with XML files inside of DaVinci, right? And that situation is this. Thank you so much. I also have another problem. When I import the XML file, my audio is now duplicated in two tracks. And even if I try to link the selections of the two audio tracks with our video, it does not work. You know what the problem is. Otherwise, I have to select the three parts every time and then I want, I want to delete something and then it's uncomfortable and kind of dangerous if I make a mistake without realizing it. Thank you so much for your help. Now, uh, Nuria Blanco, uh, she's from some Spanish-speaking country. I'm not exactly sure where, but, uh, you know, I checked out her YouTube channel. She does reviews of, like, TV shows, you know, and movies and books in Spanish, right? So, if you guys are Spanish speakers or want to learn Spanish, you know, <laughs> give uh, Nuria Blanco here uh, a like. So anyway, so thank you Nuria for the question and hopefully this video uh, helps you out. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna skip the part where I show you how to create the XML file and all this stuff. If you want to catch up, I'll link the video in the descriptions or in the, um, in the comment section. Yes, so you can you know, catch up, but I already dropped my footage in Time Boat and I already created an XML file, right? So I don't need to show you all that. So I'm, I'm going to skip that part. And for starters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between uh, Premiere Pro and DaVinci again, right? But I'm going to focus more on DaVinci. When Premiere Pro, when you drop the XML file that was created by uh, Timeboat, when you drop it in here, it's a lot easier, right? You just click and drag, it imports the footage as well, and it creates the timeline. And then, like, here you go, it's, um, we have uh, our footage here, right? All ready to go. In my situation here, I got two audio tracks. I'm just going to, like, change the color of it so you can see the difference. So I got audio track one and audio track two, right? Now, the reason for that is this. If I bring over my, um, my screen capture that I'm using to record at the moment, if we go to settings, go to output and recording, it's great out at the moment, but I have two tracks selected, right? Audio track one, audio track two. For, in my case, when I do these tutorials, I use two tracks. One track is for my mic, and the second track is for the audio that's coming from my desktop, right? When I'm playing back a video or something, right? That way, I'm able to control the volumes separately, right? So if I was to click on here to the audio and I go to advanced audio properties, as you can see, I got the condenser mic and audio track one and desktop and audio track two. Now, I've, I've been streaming, so I've been like uh, sending it out to one track. So you guys can hear it, but when I'm editing, uh, for the most part, I like, have it like set in this manner, right? That way, like the audio tracks are separated when it's recording, right? It doesn't, that way, like, you know, on the condenser mic, it doesn't pick up like the audio from the desktop and the desktop does not pick up the audio from the condenser mic, right? They're separate. So that's usually how I work. But since I've been streaming through this profile, my ultra wide uh, layout, I have it set to track one, right? But like I said, when I do tutorials, I have them both on two separate tracks to record independently from each other, right? So in this case, in Premiere Pro, that's why I have two audio tracks, right? So this is correct. Um, I'm recording two audio tracks in OBS, right? If you go to the DaVinci, so delete that. And if I was to, you know, import the, um, the, time, the XML file that we created, import timeline, import the, XML file. Like I said, I'm gonna do this quick because I already did this. So, you know, look at the last video so you can catch up. Um, you know, send it to this folder. Hit OK, hit OK. And boom, look what happens. See, I got four, right? Like I said, now I'm, I'm through my OBS, I'm recording two audio tracks, right? And like I said, one for my desktop and one, one for my mic. When I import it inside of like uh, DaVinci, for some reason, it doubles the audio tracks 
I do not know why. Now, the only good thing about this is that if, in my case, if I'm doing a tutorial uh, where I'm using the mic and then like the audio track, you know, separately, in this case, I can just simply delete the two that I don't need. I can select the bottom one. I can right click, go to clip attributes. You go to audio and then like for the most part, it should be mono. Then like you can just say, I don't know, uh, go to channel four. Now this is blank. Because like uh, for this particular video, I don't have any audio, right? But I mean, if I was doing a tutorial, the audio would appear here because it, the audio was being recorded in a second track inside of OBS, right? But in this case for Mrs. Blanco here, that she uh, was having double tracks for some reason. So if you import your XML file and you notice it looks like this, you don't need it. You just need one, right? So you can just select the one and delete it. Now, on the second part of her question is that like, there's no way to link up these tracks. There's no way to link it, even though like the chain link is on. You select the audio and the video footage independently, right? Now, if I go back to Premiere Pro, it doesn't have that problem, you know? You can select either the video or the audio clip and it selects everything together as a group, right? Because they're linked together. For some reason, it does not work like this in DaVinci. I do not know why, to be honest. I'm sorry. I really, really wish I knew. It's just like uh, something with DaVinci not working with XML files properly. So, I mean, at the moment, I'm just simply saying that it's something to do with DaVinci working with the XML files, right? So, yeah, unfortunately, there's really nothing you can do. So, if you have a situation where you want to try to, like, um, delete the footage, you know, then, yeah, you're going to have to select everything and then, like, uh, delete it, right? You know, you're probably going to have to do that. Now, that being said, uh, there are shortcuts that you can do to delete things faster, right? By default, I think if you hold Shift and V, you know, wherever your playhead is at, it selects a clip, right? Shift and V. And then you hit backspace, shift and V, and backspace, right? I actually created a macro on my uh, mouse to do that for me, so I don't have to like do it all the time. You know, shift, V, it selects it. I hit backspace, shift, V, selects it again. Backspace, shift, V, it selects the gap. I delete it. So now uh, I do that, but with my macro right on my mouse. So hit once, two, three, boom. That's why it's good to you learn how to use macros, right? And like, that's what I do. I just put the macro on my uh, my mouse here to do that command for me. So now like, you know, it's just a lot quicker for me. I could just use my macro, like one, two, three, boom. It becomes like mental memory. It's a lot quicker, right? Or if I could do a gap, you know, same thing, boom, boom, right? It's a lot quicker using the mouse. Um, another thing you can do is that if you select this, if you go to the default DaVinci Resolve uh, shortcuts, Shift A, it's a mark selection. It creates an in and out point over like the clip that you select, right? You can select this, gonna do shift A. As you can see here, it creates like an in and out point in the work area, right? It creates like a little bar here. So what you can do is you can actually select, say like an open space or underneath it and see what it does. It kind of like highlights this section. Now if I hit backspace, it deletes this section. See that? Now if I undo that, you can hold shift and backspace and then like kind of does a ripple delete, right? Same thing, select that again, shift A. Now just like click on a little open space here, wherever, or you can hit delete and it does like the ripple delete for you, right? There's backspace and delete, it's two different things, you know. Backspace, you delete the selected area. Delete, it does a ripple delete, you know, it doesn't, it's, I don't think by default it's not like that in Premiere Pro, so I had to learn to uh, learn that. <laughs> so I can't, I can't mess it up, right? So yeah, one more time. Yeah, go over here, select the clip you want, shift A, you get this guy. Click on an open space, either on top or underneath the clip. You get this guy, and you click the delete button. And does a ripple delete for you on it. So in that case, you know, say if you have a bunch of clips, you know, you can actually click on one, shift A, and just, you know, select a little empty space here. It does that, and you can do either hit delete to do a ripple delete, or you can hit backspace. You know, backspace, it deletes it. Now you have a, another gap and you can just hit backspace to see if you want to do that. Or if you got, you know, when this is selected, just hit the delete key and then it does a ripple delete for you, you know? So, I don't know, just a little shortcut, you know, that you can do to, like, uh, help you do things a little faster, right? Yeah, like in Premiere Pro, you are able to have a command where, like, uh, where the playhead is at, it selects everything underneath it. Um, it doesn't do that in DaVinci, unfortunately. I uh, wish it did. You know, but at the moment, you know, that's your options, unfortunately. Either select it all and delete it, or do what I just showed you, you know, select that, do shift A, you know, do that, and then I'll hit delete again, right? You know, whatever works for you, uh, but that's a way to do it, you know? So, 
All right, Nuria Blanco, thank you so much for your question. I appreciate it. I hope this video helps you out. And, you know, if you guys are interested, go check her out. You know, why not? <laughs> Help other YouTubers out. Fuck it. I hope the video helps out. You know, leave a like, comment, more questions. You know, I'll get back to you when I got the time, man. If you guys want to help out, buy a coffee. You know, here's some QR codes. I'll appreciate it. My sexy ass here is saying cheers. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. <laughs>